Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Infraspace. Uh, oh look, I've just noticed if I move my mouse, the sort of background foreground moves. Very cool. <laughs> it's the little things in life, the little things. Anyway, let's continue where we left off. So basically this is a game where you get to simulate six crystal mazes in one area. <laughs> No, it's a city builder, and of course I accidentally drew a knob last time. Uh, but it's set in space. We've got various resources all about the place. We've got a huge tech tree. And we've got some cool highway layouts to try and sort out the transportation of all of our resources. But yeah, I read your comments on the first video. You seem to really like this, so let's carry on where we got to. So we need to select something to research next. I think we'll stay with the concrete roads, because I really want to unlock highways and six-lane roads and super highways highways. And so looking down here at our resources and our housing and jobs needs, it looks like our housing is completely full. And our population, they live in the crystal maze, which is a nice habitat. Uh, if we want to upgrade these, they require computers and parks, which I believe we have to unlock. So if we want a bigger population, we're going to have to put more housing in. So I'm sort of thinking we'll take a gravel road. Maybe we'll go off there. We don't want to do, we don't want to do crossroads. We're doing staggered junctions. I think we'll go, I don't know, back there. And then we'll We'll put our basic habitats in all the way along there. Lovely. And then you can see there's loads of things coming in trucks. If you remember from last time, these are hover trucks because we are in the future. Oh my, how did they all fit in that building? <laughs> How many going in there? <laughs> yeah, they're delivering oxygen and survival food. So oxygen are in the blue sort of tankers and the survival food is in the green little vans. And then once they're stocked up, people will be moving in via these pink Jeeps. Yeah, and I've been told they're not actually Jeeps. Apparently they're G-Wagon, 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 G-Wagon. Yeah, that's about as much rap as you're going to get out of me. <laughs> but right, you can see this one's just upgraded because we mess all the needs. Uh, we need some home appliances which are being delivered. So that's pretty cool. Cool. And I think the next one up, it will turn into a crystal maze. And I sort of feel like maybe I should like just completely up my production of everything. So over here, the sulfur mine, let's put another one in. Another one there. So that's going to up the sulfur production massively. Now sulfur gets combined with sand to make concrete. I'm not too sure if that's correct in real life. Oh, I just gave it a little Google and apparently it's being studied as a potential construction material due to its high compressive strength. Uh, however, reading this, the studies indicate it exhibits creep. Now creep is something I learned about in my dissertation at university where I studied pie creep, the sawdust and ice thing where they where they thought about making a bloody aircraft carry out of it in the World War II. Now, again, very, very strong material pie creep was. Well, not as strong as concrete, obviously, but it's just sawdust and water. Um, but it exhibited creep and creep is like Let's say this bridge span is made out of pycrete or this new material that we've just heard about. Now, as you can imagine, there's like, there's always force acting on this. The gravity of it is going to be pulling it down. Now, in most materials that we use in modern construction, like, that's fine. That's what it's designed to do. But in materials that exhibit creep, creep is where over time the force, like, deforms the shape. So say you've built this and it looks like that normally. That's the normal shape. You might come back in like a year's time or something and you'll notice it's starting to like sag in the middle. Yeah, that's what we call creep. And I'm guessing in this future they've they've got around that. Creep is now not a problem at all. Uh, what I probably should do is build some more of these. So these are the farms and the atmosphere processor. And yeah, we need these for our people to live. So let's build a few more. Some more farms. Oh god, we've run out of power. So we're going to build a load more windmills. Oh, and can you hear Paddy barking? He's having a bad dream. Should I wake him up? Poor little Paddy. Uh, but the idea of these wind turbines is you don't want these orange areas to like cross each other because uh, that makes them less efficient. So if we do like that, then we just need to connect them up with a power pole. Yes. I was like, can I get it to reach all three? I can just about. There you go. So now the network is all connected up uh, and we should have power and hopefully that will go now. And there you go. We, we're making 100 power. We're only using 50 now. So that's fine. So I will keep making more farms and atmosphere stuff and I might do another road behind them. And if I do a road along there. Cool. Should I do the same with the farms down there? I think I probably should, shouldn't I? Oh, I can't quite get the rotate. It's not like a fine tune. Oh, we can overlap quite a bit. Okay. Lovely. And I think I'll do a few more farms just at the front as well. Cool. Sorted. Right. Next, I want to increase my concrete production, which means I need more of these, a concrete factory. Oh, can you hear him barking? I wonder what he's dreaming about. 
Right, and look at the lorries coming to these concrete factories. There's so many hover lorries. And look at the fumes. Look at the fumes. That's going to stink, all that sulfur. Anyway, back over here. We can probably do with some more copper production. Why not? I could even do a road, like, down that way. We'll just do, like, all the copper. So this looks terrible to start with, but do not fear, because I can click on these and click this, and it makes it a curve. I love that. Curvy, curvy roads. And look, hooray! We've unlocked concrete roads. Because uh, at the moment, I've been building gravel roads. Yes, apparently these are gravel roads. Um, two things confusing about that. One is somehow with a gravel road we can make big old viaducts like this. The other thing they can paint on them, the white line down the middle. And the third thing, none of our trucks have wheels. They're all hover trucks. So I don't get why the road surface makes a difference. I don't know. <laughs> uh, let's have a look. Let's see what... Oh, okay. I've, I've got it. I've got it. So in our roads, we've got like different segments. We've got one, two, three, and four. So four are the super high ways which are super the same with the concrete road they can be upgrade i tell you what shall we do a little test shall we see if they're faster or something so let's from here come off oh look they're wider so let's do that and then join back on oh god i don't like that we've got a ramp at the end oh look here we go oh look they are faster so if we watch here we've got our gravel road in the background now the front the concrete road oh they're so much quicker right okay we will be replacing all of our gravel roads with concrete ones i wonder in the research how to get to highways it's just going to be a bit of researching so shall we shall we try and progress the research we just need blue and green research and we're making them with these two things so the blue research is a standard one it just uses iron ore and carbon now i know our atmosphere processors they make as well as oxygen they also make the carbon and then iron ore is up here so I'm going to do what I started with the copper, but I never quite finished. I'm going to do a road like that. We're going to turn them all into curves. Okay, that's good. Now I'm going to increase my iron mines just to go all the way along this edge. We want all the iron we can get. Uh, but two things. We, we've run out of power up here. We also we got 230 jobs, but only 146 workers. So let's put some power in around here. And now they are all mining, which is great to see uh, but we we really need to increase our numbers so let's put in a load more housing and i think i'll do the roads first now i can sort of see the spacing just gonna have a load of housing down there and look at all the trucks <laughs> there's so many trucks uh, if we were to do back to back there we can do a road down there that's gonna be a crossroad unfortunately yeah more houses that should split up the old traffic at the top as well all right so now we've got 340 housing 230 jobs and we're just waiting for people to move in they need some power down here so we'll extend our power poles you can see the army of pink coming oh god they just disappeared they just vanished into thin air oh where are they going <laughs> What have I done? Have I expanded too quickly? And if we want people to arrive more quickly, we're going to need to build another spaceport. So the spaceport is that thing. I think we'll bung one there. And then we should have people joining our thing twice as fast. All right, over here, we're a bit short on the old sulfur. So can I squeeze in another sulfur mine? Probably by moving that a little bit, maybe to there. Another sulfur mine. So I think that's the ratio we had before. We've got, we've got two sulfur mines to every one sand mine, which is the perfect ratio for concrete production. Two to one makes four concrete. Right, lovely. That is good. Right, up here, loads of iron. Uh, what else was needed? Iron and carbon. So I'll tell you what, the iron comes from up there. The carbon is over here. I might, along this road, do like a load of blue research. Blue science packs. Fill them up like that. That's those covered. Holy crap. Look at the traffic. <laughs> Oh dear, right. Perhaps we should do we should do a back Oh, there's not enough power in network two. Which one is network two? Anyway, we've completed some research. We've got improved wind turbine blades. Adapts the wind turbine blade shape to the atmosphere so we can build them closer together. Oh, that's good. Yes, yeah, so you can see wherever I place this, I have efficiency. And that was as close as I could get them together, but now I can almost like fit one in the middle. So that is good. I might shove a turbine over here somewhere. I'll probably put one over here ready as well. I would I would put them on the rocks, but they just seem to go through the rocks so yeah we'll just go there connecting them all up and then we can do our copper mines oh and apparently can you see that's yellow that means we're too far away from the copper so what i want to do i want to move this road so if i use this move button i can move nodes i didn't realize i could do this last time so i can actually bring this in a bit so they now reach and now we have loads of copper <laughs> 
Now you can see network 2, the required power is 26 megawatts. We're making 40, so we're all good now. That is sorted. All right, next our districts. We probably want to make sure that these are covered. So we better extend our district up to there. This one, we better extend to include those because I think they haven't been delivered carbon because they're out of range. So that's why we got red seas there. Likewise, up here, the copper, we need to paint all of that in. All right, now we're good. Our housing is pretty much full. Population 356, housing 358. Jobs 330, which means they're nearly full again. I feel like if they're not getting carbon, we're not producing enough. So we're going to have to extend our atmosphere processor things. So I'm going to get rid of this stupid, crazy road. And we're going to rebuild. Yeah, there we go. There we go. So I think if we do that, we may as well extend the farm down there as well. Right, there we go. So more atmospheres and more processing of the atmosphere, please. More farms. And I think we'll do our shortcut road. I think we'll do like two. All right, so now we've got a straight through there. So we, because we don't really want to be mixing with all this like civilian movement like the jeeps moving in and stuff so that's good oh god we need some power what yeah power network one needs more turbines so let's bung some more turbines in i think to be honest we will just move these turbines so they're nearly touching build another one like that and then we just need to make sure they're all connected so now network one completely fine for power sweet yeah we've still got a bit of a carbon issue it seems the steel is not getting enough carbon i tell you what it might be worth doing like putting some of our new fast roads in i really want to unlock the highway first though four lane roads and high yeah i'll tell you what i'm just gonna i'm gonna focus on getting the green research first and then we're gonna rehaul this to have our highway network so we're making lots of blue science for the green science we need electronics sulfur and blue science so i feel like maybe it's worth doing a new sulfur mine there connecting that into this road so let's say we'll put our green science down here so we'll do that and then we'll head up over to here All right and then if we curve these by using this button we get a nice little smooth curve which is just what you want in highway design you don't want stupid angles because they're impossible to drive on all right that's better let's build our green science packs and as you can see here can you see the blue sort of area at the bottom of the wind turbine that's like the area you can't build in so that's red because it's clashing if i put it there it'll be fine but i want things to look neat so what i'm actually going to do i'm going to go to the move tool and i can actually spin the turbine around yes it doesn't matter what way they're facing so i can plonk it there and now we've got space for the greens <laughs> Right, and they need electronics, as you can see. All the blue science is leaving and going up there. I might even do like a little back road, let's say from there over to there. So now the clever blue guys, they will come out here. Oh god, the black say blocks the they blocked the road, you idiots. <laughs> you idiots. There you go, he's gone up now. He's gone up now. Uh, but this is why we need our new highways in fast. Because it's just carnage. Literally carnage. Well, trucknage, technically. Right, we're going beyond the fourth wall to see Paddy the dog. There he is. What a good boy. <laughs> we got a tail wagon. Good dog. So yes, as you can see here, we need more electronics. So if we go over to our electronics area, which is where we built all the copper stuff, we've got a few electronics going on. They require copper ore and iron ore. So we'll start building some of those. All right, and so we've just unlocked the solar power plant. That could be interesting. So the solar power plant produces 50 megawatts compared to just 20 of the wind turbine, but it costs 200 concrete and 100 steel. Yet the wind turbine's only 50 concrete. I don't, I, I don't see the point of that. <laughs> Is that just me? Have I missed something there? No, that's just really, really bad value. Well, that's a shame. Anyway, if we go back into our research thing, uh, we've now researched all the things in the settlement. How do we unlock? small town i don't know but what i do know is we need to sort out the electronics factories so what i'm thinking is we hit pause for a second and we dig up all of this road and we try and make this a lot more efficient so let's delete everything we've got around it all these roads don't like it i just i don't like it that's what i'm saying right so our copper is going to come from here we just have our simple junctions that we had before so copper comes along here up here we're producing iron ore which we can produce more of i think so more iron please all right we're then gonna delete this road and then we're gonna replace these roads with the new posh fast ones and then we'll carry on building our roads. so that's gonna come down i'll tell you what actually we could just come around the back i think that's quite a good idea so we'll connect 
We'll squeeze through this, like, canyon thing if we can. We have a warning. We have a warning. There you go. Just need, a, just need a bend. So we've curved all of that up nice. Right, so iron will come down here. If we upgrade this road to the good stuff as well. Copper will come along here. They'll meet somewhere in the middle. So essentially I want that, but I don't want it to do that because I know a junction is going to be really slow. There's going to be vehicles coming from both ends. So instead, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to draw these roads so they almost touch tips. <laughs> Yeah, and then we're going to have the the one-way road. It's going to do that sort of thing. And then we're just going to line this road with electronics factories. And then we'll delete these roads. I think we get half the price back, so it's not too bad. It's not too bad. And then these electronics are going to be taken straight to there with a few bends. All right, we'll have to reset our district. So I think if we just continue painting that to there. Yeah, I'm going to put a couple of storage things in. We've got some storage there and then I'm going to make the red stuff which also needs iron so pretty much on the same journey. So we'll do like four of those and the red stuff is home appliances which allow us to upgrade our housing. Yeah, oh my goodness look at the traffic. <laughs> it's beautiful. Now, annoyingly I sort of hoped this was two-way but I realized that's a single way road, isn't it? So I think we're going to need, yeah, that one when we unlock it. Yeah, but that should be a simple upgrade once it's unlocked. So never mind. Uh, we do need some power down here. All right, so now you can see the electronics are being made. They're coming along in these green lorries. And they're going into the home appliances workshop where, oh, look, they're literally, there's so many chipboards in there. The vans are literally buried. Yeah, but they'll merge with the ones carrying the iron, these bluish ones. And they'll make electronics. And hopefully, if I've sort of done the ratios right, Right, let's fast forward. We should get some green trucks that don't go into these. They literally just carry on going. No, it looks like they're not making it through. So I might have to delete some of these just because I do want electronics to make it down so we can research. Right, here is a massive load. Come on, make it through, make it through, make it through. They're all just going in. Damn it. Right, we're going to have to delete more of the reds then. But look, now they're coming through. So now, finally, they'll be able to make it to down here where they can create us some research. And with the home appliances now being made, you can see these habitats, they're starting to upgrade again, meaning they'll finally be the crystal maze. And that will increase our housing numbers. You can see jobs, we've got 551, but only 360 housing. Uh, yes, we don't have enough workers. So we're going to have to increase our housing anyway. I'm not even sure if upgrading will do that for us. So you might have to do like another strip. Yeah, I wish I could remember how you unlock small town. I thought it was just research everything, but turns out I was wrong. If you do know, you can let me know in the comments. Otherwise, I'll probably just try and work it out at some point. Yeah, but anyway, we will leave it there for today, guys. If you're enjoying the series, boost your like button. Let me know. Yeah, hopefully next time we'll get some highways and we'll be able to do some massive sort of motorways and all sorts. But yeah, peace, love and smelly egg fumes. Bye.